Do you have similar clips you need to color grade? Maybe 5, 10, 15, all with the same exposure, going to have the same color, look, and profile. But you color grade it, then you make other modifications, like you add trackers, and then all of a sudden you need to make a modification. You have to go through each individual clip. Well, today I'm going to show you how to set up your nodes so that you can just very quickly modify your color grades from one location. Let's see how to do it in Resolve. Okay, we've got these three clips here all with, that are going to have the same color grading, same exposure, and so forth. And what I'm going to do is go into color section. Now, uh, what I would typically do here is the first thing I'll probably do is to stabilize this because it's actually pretty shaky. If you look here, it's a pretty shaky there. So I'm actually going to stabilize it. And put it right about there. So perspective, let's stabilize it. All right, looks good. And then I typically like to leave the first node as my general balance, and then the second one I'll, I'll set up as a, with a LUT. I'm going to pick this one here. All right, and then I'm just going to adjust the lift and gain here just a little bit. Looks good. Uh, right about there, that's good. Okay. And I'm going to add a little saturation. All right, so that looks pretty good, at least for illustrative purposes. All right, so in the past, what I would typically do or want to do is simply to, to copy the grade over here. I'd simply take my mouse and um, a middle click, and it would copy the grade over. The only problem is it also copies over the stabilization. Now that's not a problem if you don't need stabilization because I could just clear it out. But if you do need it on this clip, which I actually do, <laughs> uh, then I would have to override it, come back in, and so forth. And so over time, if you keep changing your grade or keep tweaking it, this becomes a big deal. So then you end up having to go to each individual clip to modify it. Um, so, or you could, you know, if you if you group them all into one, you could do that and just copy the the individual node to each one. So either way, it's it's very long um, and extensive. But what we can do is something a little better, all right? So what I'm going to do here, actually, uh, I'm going to undo this. I'm just going to delete this, reset the color grade, reset that. All right, so I'm going to go back to the first clip, and I'm actually going to make this save as a shared node, okay? And I'm going to make this save as a shared node. So you can actually rename it, but I'm just going to leave it one and two just for the, uh, illustrative purposes. And then what I can do is come in here and add a node, shared node one, then add a node, shared node two. And now I have the full grading without impacting the stabilizer or any other effects, maybe like a, a window that I'm a mask or something I may do. Uh, so now when I come in here, I have to unlock it first. If I adjust the grading, so I'm just going to do some extreme. Uh, maybe not that extreme. How about that? All right, you see that it impacted uh, both clips here. Okay, I'm going to go back in here and actually undo that. All right, so there we go. So that's all you have to do for this effect. It's extremely powerful when you're color grading because then you don't have to go and redo all your clips. And a lot of times you'll have similar clips with, that you shot in the same time with the same type of exposure. Uh, and so this is perfect uh, for managing that. So if you got any questions on how else to use this or any other uh, features of Resolve, uh, please leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.